Okay, here's the situation. We have a stairway. We have a wall above the stairway that needs to be painted. But how do you position a ladder on steps? I have a solution. Give me a second, I'll bring it in. All right, here's what I've come up with. A ladder platform for your stairs. Basic construction, pretty easy to build. Build it out of materials that I had laying around my shop. I had an old sheet of MDF that I wasn't using, some two by fours for the legs, and one by twos for these safety rails. It's very level. It actually covers two steps, two width steps, so there's plenty of room for an extension ladder. Won't slide off. If it does happen to tip, it's long enough so that it will catch on the step above it so it won't rock forward. Pretty simple construction. In fact, here are the steps. To create the platform and to establish the height, measure the width and the height of the two steps. Now to do this, I used a long level and a tape measure. Cut out the two legs using the measurements that you found on the steps. Now I'm in the habit of using a speed square to ensure my blade is cutting square, but that's just me. Now next, using a circular saw and a guide, cut out the platform. The platform measures 24 inches by 28 inches. Set and mark the locations of the legs at the end of the platform. Now this establishes where to drill pilot holes to attach the legs to the platform. You also want to measure the distance between the two legs for a lower support brace. Now cut the support brace to length. Now that the legs and the support brace are cut, you can see how the assembly will go together. Using a countersink drill, drill pilot holes through the platform so that the legs can be attached. Secure the legs with two inch long screws. Now the countersink holes will let the screw heads rest flush with the platform. Notice how I have clamped a 2x4 across the workbench to hold my work in place so it won't slide. Drill pilot holes through the legs to attach the support board. To give the legs a little additional support and make them stronger, measure and cut a second support board that will be attached further up the legs. To stabilize and support the second board, I've cut two 4 inch blocks and placed them on the side of the legs, then I set the second support into position. Secure the second support to the legs first by drilling pilot holes and fastening with screws. Attach the two 4 inch blocks to the legs by drilling pilot holes and securing with screws. The platform is going to be nice and secure and strong enough for a ladder and your own weight. Now to keep the ladder from sliding off of the platform while you're working, which more than likely won't happen, I did cut some 1x2s to length and then secured them around the outside perimeter by drilling some pilot holes, using some wood glue, and then securing with screws. 
Well, that should wrap it up. Let's bring in the ladder. All right, I'm gonna gently put the ladder against the wall, like so. My feet are firmly placed on the platform, so I'm feeling pretty secure about the positioning of my ladder. A couple safety tips. Make sure you have a spotter on the ground that's holding the ladder for you as you climb. That way, the ladder isn't gonna move back and forth for you. And also, make sure they're there while you're working. Also, don't extend your reach. Make sure that you're within about two feet on each side of the ladder before you reach out. And keep a hand on the ladder at all times while you're working. Another thing that I like to do is put ladder mitts on the end of the ladder so it protects your wall from any marring that the ladder may do. Well, I think we're ready to give this ladder platform a shot. I'm gonna climb up here and see how it works. So far, Works great.